hi guys today i wanted to go ahead and create some pumpkins uh, with this pieces of wood that i found for free as you can see here well first i'm going to actually share a small clip um, of me explaining how i found this wood hi guys i just wanted to come ahead and show you how much wood i found on trash day um, usually here on Katy, there's trash, a heavy trash date that's picked up, I think, the first um, of the month and then the third of the month. And um, I go the day before they pick it up so I can see what uh, people had actually thrown away. And this last trash, heavy trash day, I found a whole bunch of wood, guys. Look how really nice they are. Like, they're not they're in great quality like brand new just a little bit dirty wherever they had them um but i decided to go ahead and grab me all the pieces of wood so i have some here and i have a couple of them in here as well i actually wanted to go ahead and share like a little diy that i was going to do with I them i actually created this little crate out of those um woods that i got and i put it in my sunflowers and as you can see this one's turned but I just wanted to go ahead and create this because I didn't want it the wind to knock them down and I feel like this would give it support uh, for it whenever it's really windy it doesn't fall anyways so I did create it that with those woods now I'm gonna I was actually looking on in on Pinterest of uh, how they have some woods made out of they have some pumpkins made out of wood and since fall is around the corner, I wanted to go ahead and create some pumpkins out of these woods. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to say first before I even start all this you can do as you please I'm just going ahead and show you how I went ahead and create these pumpkins but whatever if you would like to do this as this or that as that you can go ahead and do so I'm just showing you how I literally created these pumpkins myself the way I wanted it the way I liked it so the first thing that I wanted to go ahead and tell you was that I wanted to go with like a small medium and large pumpkins so i can go ahead and have them in the front yard and just have them right next to each other i think that's gonna look so cute together combined so the first thing that i did was measuring the large pumpkin which i think was 30 inches tall i went ahead and used my raptor square and then made the straight line and then i went ahead and cut them as you saw already at the beginning and then the second pumpkin um, i'll be going ahead and cutting it 20 inches tall and then the small one i'm not sure how tall was it because i did not end up cutting it i really liked how it was um, the height so i just left it as is and then uh, what i did that i lost footage of i went ahead and make the lines uh, from the outer uh, woods so i can go ahead and give the shape as a pumpkin and um, all I did was just eyeball it. I literally just eyeballed it. And then after I did just do um, the ones from the bottom, the woods on the outer sides um, from the bottom, all I did was flip them. And with that same line that I had already cut, I went ahead and traced the line and then just used my raptor square if I, went, I needed to go ahead and strain it. And um, that's all I did. And I did all that to all three pumpkins using the first piece of wood that I uh, cut. And I, cause it's gonna be literally like the same shape that I was trying to make. And why just, you know, stress myself measuring it um, when I could have just easily done as you see here, me doing right now. And that's what I basically did with all three of them.
so here i just lay them on the floor guys and look how they look like i i'm not even done yet and i really loved how this turned out i should have left them as is like this and just go ahead and use my leftover pieces of wood and just drill them so i can go ahead and give that support to them and they won't fall and be all over the place and um but i literally wanted to go ahead and paint them and just give them that more pumpkin vibe to it but i did went ahead had a whole bunch of leftover wood from those same cuts that i did to the pumpkins and i'm gonna be using those as a support for the back here you see me placing them and just showing you how i'm gonna do it and then what i'm gonna be doing is showing you how to going ahead and just drill the screw on each of them here as you can see you see me doing that here okay and then i went ahead and used the apple barrel outdoor gloss indoor on the color pumpkin orange i went ahead and got this uh, from walmart i've been having it for a while since i did create it some pumpkins that they were all right how they turned out but i really love this one's how this one's turned out so i had the leftover so i'm gonna go ahead and use that paint for that and then i have a cremero on the back of my backyard on my backyard and i literally just went and cut like the thickest uh branch and cut pieces um I like to use them as stems and as you can see me here doing i'm cutting a lot lots lots of them because i really do want to go ahead and create lots of pumpkins because I, I literally would think that they're going to look so nice all spread out all over my front yard and maybe just a few of them on my backyard so here um i didn't know how to go ahead and put the stem on the pumpkin and um, I did not want to go ahead and glue it. I just wanted to go ahead and use like a maybe easier method other than waiting for the glue to dry. So all I came up with was literally, I this just popped in my head whenever I saw the nails. I drew a small hole on the, on the top of the pumpkin. Not all the way in guys because you want to go ahead and put the nail and then hammer it down so it can get grip at the bottom and then i'll be doing the same thing to the stem i'll be doing a creating a little hole not all the way deep in there uh, so you can go ahead and put it on top and then hammer it down and uh, the nail can get grip um, from the stem as well All I ended up doing was going ahead and using my natural ra raffia. I cannot say that word for the life of me. And um, I went ahead and created a bow and tied it around the stem. And I think this just made the pumpkin look even fancier and like I bought it from like the store or something. This is how all the three pumpkins look. And as you can see, the tallest look literally really tall but i really love how they turned out a way to go ahead and put them outside as fall comes around the corner i really do hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and as always i hope to see you guys on my next one bye